Okay, I'm going to show you how to phone pair a 50S. Okay, so to turn it on, uh, this big jog dial here is called a jog dial, and this button at the back is called your phone button. So you press those two together at the same time for one 1000, and it will turn on. So you saw a series of red lights and that shows you how much battery charge is in it and then it will be standby flashing blue. Um, now to put it into phone pairing mode, you wanna press this little phone button and hold it until you hear the, her say phone pairing. Phone pairing. And then let go. Go to your phone's list of Bluetooth devices, and when you see it appear, tap it to make them be best friends. And then you'll see it says, your headset is paired. she'll tell you that they're paired and it'll say it's connected. So now I want to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi adapter. So if you download the Center Motorcycles app, And um, I'll just close this out for a sec. So you can see here that it's telling you that the 50S is connected. Um, the current firmware version is 2.0.3 and it's red because that's indicating it needs an, there's a, a, another updated firmware version available. Um, so to do that uh, via Wi-Fi, you will have like a Wi-Fi adapter cable come in your pack that there is a couple of different variations, but this is one of them. And you've got some indicator lights on here, so I'm gonna plug it in here so that you will be able to see them. And uh, you want your headset turned off, so um, press the jog dial and the phone button to power it off. Goodbye. And plug it in. Now, uh, if you go into the COG and click update via Wi-Fi, it's telling you update the firmware on your device via Wi-Fi. Um, so we'll go connect new device, plug in your Wi-Fi device and connect it to a USB power supply. Well, we've done that. Next, Wi-Fi reset. So if you um, need to reset your Wi-Fi adapter, there's a little pinhole on the back of it and you just press a paper clip into that to reset it. And then this is indicating when searching for the network, the Wi-Fi status will blink depending on the Wi-Fi device and it will be indicated by red or blue. Um, next, now it tells you connect your Wi-Fi device, go to settings, Wi-Fi and select the network name when it appears and then return to this app after selecting that center network name. And there's a note down the bottom letting you know that you should connect your smartphone and the Wi-Fi adapter to the same 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network, not your 5G um, NBN. You need a 2.4 channel. So go into your settings, Wi-Fi. Now this one's my 5G, but I don't want that. I want the 2.4 gigahertz. You can see I'm already connected to it. So now I want the Wi-Fi adapter. So this is my phone being connected to it, but you want the Wi-Fi adapter to connect to it. So uh, it's not flashing, so it's not searching for anything. So I'm just going to do a reset by pressing that in there, 1000, and then it goes purple and does some resets and we just wait for it to come back on. And there it appears, center Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, now go back to the Motorcycles app and you see a great big circle and a tick and that's awesome. Now we wanna connect this Wi-Fi adapter to that same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And I just need to find my password. Now, 
I just put my password in there, so I'm waiting for that to connect. Excellent. So here it's telling you the Wi-Fi devices, that name, um, the language is English, auto firmware updates are enabled, and it can support multiple accessories, so if you have more than one headset. Connected to Wi-Fi. And now it's starting to update my firmware. It's at 30% of two of five. Um, and while it's updating, um, don't unplug it. Um, but if something happens and somehow like your power goes down, you lose your internet or you accidentally unplug it, you can just do a fault reset and it will be fine. It won't become unusable. You can just start again. Now it's going through three of five. And you'll notice that Wi-Fi light is, the updating light is flashing because it's updating. Now it's on four of five for updating.
getting there. Now five of five. <laughs> Hundred percent, five out of five. Firmware update complete. Okay. And now you'll see that uh, this bit up here is showing you that the firmware of the Wi-Fi adapter is version one point one point two, and here it's saying there's a fifty S device connected, and the firmware version of the fifty S is version two point three point one. Not to get those confused. Let me go back and if we, um, we can now unplug the um, cable and we can turn the headset back on by pressing the jog dial and the phone button. And you'll see the Hello. red flashes for the battery. And now that the phone's turned on, you'll be able to go into your device settings. You can see that the firmware installed is 2.3.1. You can go into your device settings and tweak things in here. Um, and you're all good to go. You can go back. This is your mesh intercom on. Open mesh channel one. If you slide it across, you can see your Bluetooth intercom friends. If you've got any paired, whoops. Um, yeah, if you do want to pair with someone, you can do use the smart intercom pairing it's QR scan code. Uh, you can listen to your music from your phone. Uh, if you're listening to a streaming service like Spotify or Apple Music, be sure to download your playlist onto your phone and listen offline to avoid listening interruptions from it streaming to your phone and then Bluetoothing to your headset. You can listen to FM radio. You can go in there and you can set up some channels. Oh, I haven't got any set up. Um, so you've got mesh intercom. Bluetooth intercom, audio is music, FM radio. Uh, that's that's where you can. Oops. That's where you can set up your channels, your presets. You might like to change. Scan, stop scanning. In here, you can set your presets. Just scroll through and click save when you got to one you like. And this is your phone calls. You can add some speed dials in there if you want. And that's it, really. Done. Thank you.